The greatest poet of the Middle Ages wrote in what is known as Middle English. The form of English used from about 1100 to 1450 A.D. Middle, sh middle. Who cares what kind of English they spoke in 1100? How can you stand listening to this drivel? Actually, I find it quite entertaining. Well, how are they, James? Much better than last time, IQ. Like I think you finally got the bugs out. I beg your pardon, Bond, but would you mind telling me why you're wearing sunglasses indoors? Uh, I just had an eye exam. Had my pupils dilated. Really? Quick, shut them off. Oh, <laughs> uh, who did you say your eye doctor was, Bond? Dr. Knievel. Dr. Evil Knievel. It's that time again, TGIF. What a silly American phrase. Actually, I was thinking tall, gorgeous, incredible females and a whole weekend to find them. Hi, Phoebe. What's up? Now that you mention it, a mile-high skyscraper, tallest in the world. I was invited to the dedication ceremonies tomorrow in New York. That's nice. Um, I was wondering if you'd like to come along, just you and me in NYC? Uh, sure, Phoebe, I'd love to. I don't get it, James. Why would you want to go to New York with Phoebe? I just thought I'd make her feel wanted. Milkbanks will never let us go to New York anyway. Of course you can go. But you never give us permission to go anywhere. That's because Phoebe's father asked me to allow you to go. Your father? Uh-huh. He's on the board of directors of the bank that financed the construction. And you, James, have just saved me the trouble of having to be Phoebe's chaperone. May I go too, Daddy? Certainly not, young lady. I want you here at Warfield, where I can keep an eye on you. I've just got to find a way to go to New York with them. Ever since I was a child, I've dreamt about visiting F.A.O. Schwartz. F.A.O. Schwartz? That's just a big toy store. Oh, don't be ridiculous. It's, um... My father's New York stockbroker. Boy, would I like to see that mile-high skyscraper. I'll bet the engineering is state-of-the-art. You can see it as if you were right there, IQ. All you have to do is rewire these shades you made for me to broadcast both ways. Then I'll be able to see out of your eyes. Oh, great idea, James. Now, uh, don't forget your rocket watch this time. Oh, and this is for you. I've already got a comb. Oh, yes, but not a diamond-tipped carbide steel one. It'll cut through anything and make your hair look great at the same time. Therefore, please see that my son, Trevor Noseworthy, is given safe passage to New York, signed the Earl of Worcester. Is everybody going to New York this weekend? This is New York. How do you like it? <laughs> it's spectacular. I wasn't talking to you, Trevor. It is spectacular. Hey! I'm not letting you out of my sight, James. Remember, I was brought up in America, and I know just the kind of trouble you can get into. And I know just the kind of headache you'll be giving me if I don't take off these glasses. James? James! There's our hotel! Come on! Ow! Your name? 
Bond. James Bond, Jr. Yes, your reservations are in order. Would you like to go directly to your rooms? Perhaps you'd rather have a taste of the Big Apple, James. <laughs> Peggy Rockwell. My father is Franklin Rockwell, the architect of the Mile High Skyscraper. Your father asked me to ensure your stay in New York was a pleasant one. Thanks. But we had an awfully long flight. It's five hours later for us, so if you don't mind... We'll only stay out till midnight. James! I said, you wouldn't happen to know where FAO Schwartz is, would you, old chap? Come on, Trev. It's time to be tourists. Huh? Wait till we get to the rock club. I hope you like your music loud. If your rock music is as explosive as your manholes, I think we're in for quite a night. Uh, That's happened a dozen times in the past week. I wonder if it has something to do with the rumors. What rumors? There's word in the streets that a terrorist known as the Worm is planning to strike my father's building. But Daddy doesn't believe it. I'll be back in a minute. James? There's an old Bond family cure for the worries. Dancing to loud music. I'm telling you, Worm, it was James Bond Jr. How can you be certain? I found this passport. James? IQ, who are you talking to? It's James, isn't it? No. Ah! Oh, James, how could you? Hey, these shades are really cool, man. Thanks for letting me try them. Anytime. Great music, huh? We're ready, Warren. All the tunnels have been dug under the rock club that Bond is in. Good. Arm the explosives and clear the area. Pull around to the front of the club. (laughs) Now we're going to see some real rocking and rolling. Okay. I think so. What what happened? We'll figure it out later. Just follow me to the exit. It's locked. Try the window. The entire building must have sunk into the ground. Oh, we're buried alive. Don't 
just stand there. Dig me out. Dig yourself out. What? And get my fingers dirty. There's only one way out. Up. Oh, the power's out. The elevator won't work. Try the stairs. Quick, the fire escape. Trevor, wait. We've got to get to the roof before we run out of air. Come on. It's jammed from the outside. It's getting hard to breathe. Everybody, back! Why would someone want to sink the rock club? Perhaps they don't like loud music. No! Oh, Bond's made it out alive! And he's with Rockwell's daughter. See that they don't get home safely. I think we better get back to the hotel, James. I'll get a cab. Oh, they can be hard to find at this time of night. I've been hailing cabs in London since I was three. Let me show you how it's done. Cabby? Ah, I got us a limo. I'll bet whoever's in that limo sank the rock club. We've got to follow him. But how are we going to get a cab? What's your problem? You crazy? I got pizzas to deliver. Will a hundred dollars cover it? Well, what are you waiting for? Buckle up and uh, break out the pizzas. <laughs> to find a shortcut if I'm going to catch up with them. IQ! You awake, buddy? IQ! Huh? What? James? Sorry to wake you, but I need to see a road map of New York City. Fast! Ow! Oh. Michelin Road Atlas. Got it! That's it. Now look down a little further south. Way to go, IQ! Are you still awake? Uh-oh. Shane? Huh? Are you still out partying? Tracy, you're blocking my phone. Running away when the going gets tough. We better get back to the hotel and wait for him. Hmm. Freshly dug. This must be what's causing the exploding manhole covers. I'd better alert the police. Ah! <laughs> so that's his plan. Undermine the skyscraper with tunnels, blow them up and sink the world's tallest building. Just like the rock club. Very perceptive, Bond. You figured out exactly what I'm doing. Now can you guess why? You want to build a parking lot? <laughs> Very funny. Try one billion dollars in deposits in the new ground floor bank. Not to mention, once the building is sunk, I have a one-mile-deep lair from which to take more juicy bites out of the Big Apple. There's something else I figured out about you, Worm. You're hiding more than your face behind those glasses. Ah! Give me my glasses! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Thanks for the glasses, Bond. You won't be needing them again. Because you'll never see another sunrise. Oh, no. I'm seeing through the wrong eyes. And I don't like what I'm seeing. I've got to do something to help James. But what? I know. 
operator. Get me the New York police, quickly. Manhattan Police Department, Sergeant Polinsky speaking. Hello. My name is Horace Boothroyd. I'm calling from England to tell you that the mile-high skyscraper that's being dedicated tomorrow morning is going to be sunk. Oh, how? Somebody gonna torpedo it? I'm serious. There's miles of tunnels under the building dug by the worm. I see. And this worm who dug the tunnels, he wasn't crawling away from the red, red robin, was he? Next thing you know, they'll be telling me there's a guy in a red and blue suit flying around the city. New York police? Oh. Have you seen Trevor? Uh, I think I saw him walking up Fifth Avenue doing some window shopping. Oh. Uh. I knew I was lost, but I couldn't have walked all the way back to London. I beg your pardon? I'm looking for F.A.O. Schwartz. Welcome, sir. Oh. A remote control racing car. Just what I've always wanted. Oh, great. Now we've got two missing persons. Come on. We've got to tell my father what's happened. As soon as the mayor cuts the ribbon, I press the button. And down will come the building on Bon Jr. and all. This madman has got to be stopped. Where are you, James? <coughs> I use diamond tip comb. I've got to stop the worm. Gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to dedicate the world's tallest building in the world's greatest city. You couldn't stop me if you wanted to, Bond. I do. Quick, turn off the liquid crystals in my shades. You got it, James. <laughs> oh, James, you saved my father's building. You're wonderful. James, how could you? Come on, Tracy. All I did was a little rock and rolling and picked a worm out of the Big Apple. Maybe. But from now on, I'm going to be keeping a constant eye on you with IQ's spy shades. Whatever you say, Tracy. Excuse me. Say, those are nice shades, James. They're all yours, sir. Well, uh, thank you. Teach you to spy on a ball. 